Welcome back guys. Now we have the star delta control circuit. Now one thing you need to get used to is to generate the build of material for any project you will work on or any circuit that you will create. So your procurement manager can buy them and then you can use them or to get them out of the store. So for this circuit, we will need a single phase MCB, emergency switch, start push button, stop push button, and the timer. Okay, why we need this timer? We need this timer to run our circuit in star connection for maybe 10 seconds, then we will run on delta connection. So the timer is really important, guys. Okay, so here's the power circuit. I'm drawing it uh, here so we can understand. So this is the steps we will go through. So we will run the star contactor and the main contactor and the timer, wait for 10 seconds. And then after that, we will off the star contactor and on the delta contactor so our motor can run in delta connection so of course we need single phase mcb the first thing to isolate is our circuit and to protect it from short circuit and then we need our emergency switch then our overload relay to protect our motor and then we need our stop push button and start push button and then our main contactor to energize so this is basically a DOL starter a latching circuit and believe it or not 80% of the circuits that you will do you will start with the latching circuit or with the DOL starter so if you need to create one circuit it is good to start with a DOL and then from that point you can go and uh, like make the modifications, remove this, change this conductor to a relay and all this and this. Okay. And you will know this by the time you are creating many more circuits. Okay. So now we have the main conductor coil. We are missing the timer conductor coil and the star conductor coil and the delta conductor coil. And let's make our connection. and here i will stop okay so you can see here i'm connecting it it will energize the timer right away and it will energize the main contactor right away and uh, my star contactor is normally closed with the auxiliary contact of the timer see so these three will be the first to energize so these three are step number one this step number one, this step number one, and this step number one. They will get energized first, okay? Then we will wait for 10 seconds delay. So we will have here a 10 second delay. So this is step number two. Then after this 10 second delay, this contact will open and this will close. And then when this close, this will energize. So this is step number three. This will go off as a step number three and then this will uh, open and this will close as a step number three okay we will see all this in action but are we missing something here guys so is the circuit finished now the control circuit no why because this contactor and this contactor cannot be energized at the same time if we do energize them at the same time we will have a short circuit see current will go here it will go here and then boom you have a short circuit here it will be shortened all three phases will be shortened and this is a disasters your mcb will trip maybe your panel can get on fire actually okay so to avoid this we need to introduce interlocks where did we see interlocks before we saw them in reverse forward circuit so we will put um, normally closed auxiliary contact of the delta contactor in series with the star contactor and we will put the normally closed auxiliary contact of the star contactor in series with the delta contactor uh, this means whenever this energize this will open 
always if this is on this is this will open to prevent the delta contactor from going on okay and when this energize this will open to prevent the start contactor from latching okay now this is really important guys this is a must step you cannot bypass this step or you cannot skip this step okay so now let's see i will close my mcb for the power circuit and i will close my mcb for the control circuit and let's see let's first uh, see this in action i'm starting now you can see this is latch this is latch and this is latch and this is closed and our motor is now running for in star connection and it's for 10 seconds here you can see okay after this 10 seconds notice these contacts for the timer they're opening and they're here is closed and our delta contactor is energized it closed here so our motor now is running in delta in a much faster speed actually and because this is energized this is open and we now have a start delta starter uh, or control circuit or our motor is running in delta was that too fast for you guys okay no problem i will go with you step by step so when you stop everything stops okay now let's run with you in step by step once you press the start push button it will close this one and then our contact our main contactor will energize the star contactor will energize and our timer will energize also this auxiliary contact will close to keep our circuit latched this is the latching circuit and because the star coil energized the contactor itself it will close so our motor is now running in star okay so we can safely remove our hand now uh, and this happens in milliseconds guys i'm just slowing the time for you so now our motor is running in star connection now because our timer is latch we will have 10 seconds so 10 seconds it will run in a star connection and after this 10 seconds is finished okay so the timer auxiliary uh, contacts will switch so this will open and this will close and when this opens we don't have power here so this will off it will close this contact so our delta contactor will get energized and when our delta contactor get energized this will close it will make our uh, circuit our motor running in delta and this delta contact will open to prevent or to interlock and prevent the star contactor from running and now we have and now we reach the end of our circuit so now our motor is running in delta con delta connection for as long as we want I can stop it and it stopped okay okay I'll run it for you guys with no stop now one more time so you can understand so you can see the timer is running for 10 seconds after that timer relay will switch contact and this will close this will open all this and our motor now is running in delta and this happens in blink of an eye guys the switching between delta and star happens really fast and then we can stop it so this concludes our lecture regarding star delta control circuit remember guys you cannot or don't do any circuit unless you simulate it in x software okay if you have a new circuit or if you have a circuit that you did not experience on it before you have to run it through the software 
I have some trainees that I give them to do a DOL starter actually and the whole lightning and electricity of the room got shut off because he made a short circuit so before you do any circuit any new circuit that you don't know you have to run it in the simulator and then you can build it if you are a beginning you have to have one electrical engineering with you or a technician that can help you and review your circuit and to be there and don't do it alone of course okay be careful guys and take care thank you